how are you today? Hope you're doing well. My name is Juan Bautista Propato, currently working for Football West in the Lewin region. Been coaching football for the last 22 years. Was lucky as well to work for FIFA um, in the 2015 World Cup, doing the technical game analysis for the games that were played in the Waikato and Hamilton uh, venue. Um, yeah, I have a I'm a professor of physical education. I have a master in high performance in sports. Um, currently, I hold an um, A license, coaching license, um, former National Women's League head coach. So today, um, topic is going to be about neuroscience in football. I'm going to share my presentation with all of you guys. Um, so hopefully, you enjoy. So welcome to neuroscience. In football, um, so I guess the first question is about what is neuroscience. So it tries to increase the cognitive speed in the players, allowing players to react faster to a changing um, situation on the field. As a result, the brain is trained more than the feet and legs. Um, so as we know, football is a, a game that changes all the time and changing the situation according to the players or the position conditions. So, um, more about neuroscience improved performance and concentration levels. So, the brain recognizes immediately the relevant signal to predict the trajectory of the ball. Um, the, the brain controls everything. Um, the processing of information that arrives in the brain must proceed according to the functioning of the brain. So I guess the, the key message um, is about um, sometimes we see players, you know, they, they, they look slow, but they, are, they have a really quick reaction. Um, and then like here I say, you know, the, the brain recognizes the, the trajectory of the ball, where the ball is going. Um, and then there are more and more coaches that they are training this with young players. So if we go a little more about how the brain work. Um, so we have here on the picture on the right side, the three parts of the, of the brain, the yellow part, the biggest, the cerebrum, um, the orange is part there, the brain stem and cerebellum on the blue part. So how the brain work, the brain works like a big computer. It's processing information that received from the sense and body and send messages back to the body. But the brain can do much more than a machine can. Human thinks and experience emotion with the brain and is the root of common human intelligence. So more about the brain. Um, here is divided in five parts. On the left side at the end um, is the smell, the blue part, touch, the yellow part, taste is the yellow part on the inside in the middle, the green part, the hearing part, and the part on the back of the neck is the vision where is um, the pink color. So the brain is a complex organ that controls through memory, emotion, touch, motor skills, vision, breathing, temperature, hunger, and every, every process that regulate our body. Together, the brain and the spinal cord that extend from it make up the central nervous system, or CNS. So um, that's a, um, an overview of the brain, the five different parts, um, and and the complexity of the brain. So here, one of the greatest players ever that produced football in Italy is um, Andrea Pirlo that said football is played with the head. You can see here um, three English players, um, Rooney, Steven Chera, and Miller, can't you stop him? Um, 
because it's a really good picture um, about, you know, a player like him, you know, you need to be, be careful when you put too much pressure um, because he might do a true ball to someone or might be doing something that no one else is expecting. Um, or like, you know, you give them too much time, like a few days ago, uh, where Modric have so much time and then score a great goal. Um, and then you know, put Croatia in the next um, round of the Euros. Talking about uh, El Cerebro de Brain, um, here is a great picture of Xavi Hernandez. Um, and say, most of the players that came across were kicking and stronger than me. Decision making is what control our physical actions. Some players have a mental speed of 80, while others are capable of reaching 200. I always try to reach 200. Um, so I guess it's, it's a great example of what, how important is the brain um, and then that development um, and development of that brain and the mental speed um, where he has Xavi Hernandez say that that was his target of um, the mental speed of 200. Um, yeah, so I guess um, it is more to talk about um, this topic, but this is an introduction to neuroscience in football. Um, I hope you enjoy my first part. Looking forward for your feedback. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's a really interesting topic to discuss. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to the second part of this um, topic. Thank you very much, guys.